and uh, we're going to go to uh, we're going to Julian Dobbs is coming in. Hello, <laughs> Hello mate, and Philip as well. <laughs> good, to, it's good to see you guys. Yeah, two people who speak His Majesty's English. Yeah, there you go, Dominic. Huh? I'm not sure about so we've, you. <laughs> we've, we've got Philip de Grey Water and, uh, and and Julian Dobbs. Julian. Um, you're with the United. Well, actually, you're, you're with the United. We, we the Canadian. Hang on, Anglican, I've got, America, yeah. <laughs> New Zealand, global. I mean, just say it, Dominic. No, I'm a bishop in the ACNA. You're b bishop in the ACNA. I'm yeah, so yeah. sorry. <laughs> Julian and I've had about five conversations in the last few weeks. <laughs> um, what's your role here at Gafcon? So, uh, firstly, I'm a, I'm a delegate from my own diocese, mm -hmm. a bishop from the Anglican Church in North America. I'm also the protocol officer. And so for the last two GAFCONs, both here and in Jerusalem, I've served in that role. Mm -hmm. Right. Now... Um, and you know all about protocol, Dominic? Yeah. 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 It's, it's for breaking. <laughs> And look, what the protocol officer does is we're, 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 we've gathered here with, with uh, uh, bishops, clergy, lay delegates from all over the world. We've got cultures from huge, significant diversities that are coming together. And part of what I've been asked to do is to make sure that people get along with each other. Right? Uh, have a, I mean, as I look at the conference, there's been, fun, I mean, the, the big thing is there's a unity in the headship of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and I mean, we, we've had that line from Justin Welby, we're walking together, and uh, what rubbish that statement is when we don't have the same head. Well, here, um, here's and yet how, here, we have the same head. That's it. Here's how we're walking together. We're yeah. walking together with Jesus as our head, and our confidence, therefore, isn't in structures, it's in Christ. Mm. And uh, that's been underscored, surely, over these past days here in Kigali. And yet, I think your point is, there are some cultural issues to work out oh, and look, some complexities certainly. to work out. H how can there not be when you bring people together from all different types of cultures? I referenced earlier that Philip and I speak His Majesty's English, and yet there are differences in our culture. Yeah. And so, therefore, uh, somehow you've got to work that out. And again, it's pointing people back to Jesus. So we've got Philip de Grey Water here. Now, it's written Fowey, but I know you don't pronounce it Fowey. It's Foy. It's Foy. It rhymes with boy, right. as in the, the, the things that float in the water. We're a little seaside parish on the southwest coast of Cornwall. Those, those are buoys. <laughs> Great, eh? <laughs> well, I, I, I would just want to ask, uh, does ACNA seek uh, recognition from Canterbury? Well, look, here, here's the issue now. How after, what is it, at least 25 years of distrust uh, can, can we be seeking recognition when trust has dissolved? Mm. Uh, trust has dissolved, it's gone not only in the current Archbishop of Canterbury, but surely in the instruments of communion. And, and, and our recognition, therefore, should never come out of those, those, those instruments, those structures. It should come from what we believe and in whom we believe. I mean, and that's been the underscoring thing in this conference. Julian, I mean, I mean, I would say, who cares what Canterbury thinks now? Isn't that, it's almost going to be irrelevant uh, Look, in the future. I've been ordained for over 30 years, ordained originally in the Anglican Church in New Zealand. Uh, Canterbury was part of who we were. It was significant to us. It gave us foundation. I don't care anymore. Yeah, I care they, about Jesus and the scriptures, yeah. right? Yeah. And, I, and I, I think it's tragic. Mm. It's tragic. And may they repent and come back to faith in Christ. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so Philip, uh, if I may ask, what's your expectation from this GovCon for? Uh, my expectation is to see the partnership uh, of uh, folk who, who have that common faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, supreme, uh, sufficient, to see that partnership grow and flourish right around the world. Our connections uh, with uh, others within GAFCON are really, really precious to us in the Anglican network in, uh, in Europe. Uh, this is our home. We don't exist apart from GAFCON. We are so thankful. Uh, that uh, this is happening. It is a move of God, and we praise Him for it. I mean, just coming back to that, um, uh, the Canterbury issue, uh, I mean, it does feel like the train has left the station now on uh, the irrelevance of the Archbishop of Canterbury, uh, that, that the, the primates in the end will, some group will be formed that will elect their own chair, and... Um, and, well, if the Church of England repents, their primate could become a member of that group. But it's not that... Uh, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm not talking about any statement at the moment. I'm just talking about what I am hearing from just about everybody over lunch and every meal I've been at this week. 
for many years there has been a call for restructure within the instruments of the communion. And uh, we've heard from the Archbishop of Canterbury on multiple occasions, it's not me, I don't make those decisions, it's the Anglican Consultative Council, the Ever Legislative Body. But look, the, the, not only has the train left the station, we have moved on and marched on deeper into the will of God with our foundation in Him. And so if they repent and come back, great. Um, uh, 30 years but ago... they won't come back as the boss, they'll, they'll come back as a member. Well, you know, seasons have changed, times yeah. have changed, and uh, uh, the Anglican Church is the richer for the upholding of its doctrine and heritage that it received from the Reformation. That's where we need to see our unity mm. and the doctrine we have in Christ. Mm. Yeah. Um, thanks so much for coming to talk to us. It's been great to talk to you. Thanks for getting the message out from this conference. Um, it reminds us that we are not alone. No, we got. Let me. Uh, we are. Uh, it, uh, we are so grateful. These guys who gave us a home. Uh, for those who've had to step apart, Gafcon is critical. It's crucial. So, as part of the resetting, uh, this provision is is the wonderful provision of God. Dominic, before I go, I must uh, give you a message from my wife who says thank you to you guys, she's back home in the UK and, and she says it's been great because you've enabled her to be part of what's going on here. Thank you particularly to the guys who are behind the camera and the team yeah. uh, who've enabled you to be up here doing what you're doing. We've got an awesome team. Um, uh, there's Karede from Nigeria, we've got uh, uh, Akuza also from Nigeria, we've got um, uh, Joshua Sali from Uganda, John Sandyman from Australia, Etty Tate from the UK, Toby McGregor from Australia, and David Old from Australia, and they've all been working extraordinarily hard. And we've all been brought to you by anglicanaid.org.au. And, and isn't that the mosaic of what's happening here at this conference? <laughs> People right. from all over the world who believe in Jesus have come together. Yeah, it's been great.